Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be practicing patterns. I've drawn a rectangle and divided it into four sections, just using some gently curved lines. You can draw whatever shape you want. Um, you know, a circle, a star, a square, a triangle, a rectangle. Uh, you could draw an animal, you could draw a heart, a flower. You could draw a whole picture and put patterns inside of it. But today is all about practicing patterns. Patterns help us organize our thoughts and they help us build our drawing skills. So I'm going to be using warm and cool colors today. My warm colors are over here. My red, orange, and pink. Yellow is another warm color. I didn't add it here because it doesn't really show up well on white paper. And, you know, these are the colors of fire and the sun and lava and heat. And our cool colors over here, blue, green, and purple, are the colors of cool water, cool grass, the shade, shadows on snow. Um, so you choose what colors you want to use. Uh, try to use uh, two of each. And let's have some fun with this. Now the important thing to remember when you're drawing patterns is repeat and neat. You want to repeat a pattern. You don't want to get into that or this kind of thing. You know, we can tell. I can tell you're getting tired at the end there if your pattern starts looking like this. You want to repeat your pattern, but you also want it to be neat. So I'm just going to start with a simple scallop shape. And I want to make sure that I am doing my best to keep what I'm drawing the same size. Some of that's going to change a little bit because the space that I'm drawing it in is not really even. Um, and I want to take my patterns right to the edges of each section. So I am, even if it's only a half shape, if I don't get the full one in there, gets cut off at the corner, just like that, that's fine. That's what gives it um, more of a finished, clean look. It almost looks like fish scales or mermaid scales. Drawing patterns is also pretty relaxing. It's almost like meditation. You know, you can just kind of, I can get lost in it. I could draw patterns forever. And I'm doing my best to make my lines and my shapes consistent. And you definitely don't want to get too small. You don't want to start squishing things in at the end. Whoops, my hand just jumped a little bit. That's okay. I don't think anybody's going to notice that in the grand scheme of things. It's almost like music, you know, when you're practicing your music, you're practicing creating sounds in an organized manner, and that's the same thing with drawing patterns. So there you go, I've got my first pattern done. I think I'm going to switch to a cool color now, I'll do blue, and I'm just going to Practice some straight lines, but there's a lot I can do with straight lines. I don't just have to draw these straight lines. I can I can turn them this way also. And make another pattern. In the opposite direction. Again, practicing my spacing, practicing my consistency. Oh, that got a little, I kind of went off the rails there a little bit, but that's okay. And look, oh, where's it going to end? It's going to end right there. And if I took that imaginary line, oh, it would continue right there. See how it makes it look finished? 
I'm gonna go back to my cool color, uh, warm colors. I'll do some orange. And how about some good old fashioned zigzags? And if you keep your shapes fairly large, you will have more, um, they have more space to move around, you know? Feeling confined, feeling like you don't have enough room to really draw everything that you wanna draw. Feel a little claustrophobic on your paper sometimes. But you wanna let these shapes, you wanna let the, the overall shape of the space you're drawing in determine how your pattern is going to turn out. I don't want to try to squeeze anything in. I want to make it look like you're looking through a window frame into these patterns. See now, I can't fit a whole, a whole but right here I can. And then, oh, I'm going to come up and then down. And that's about all I can fit. And then my last one, oh, do some purple. And I think we'll end with some wavy lines. This pattern kind of grows. Almost looks like a, a shell of some sort. And it changes down at the end here. So there are my four patterns. I could go on and add more pattern inside these. I could change them up. I could add, I could color in. I could put pattern on top of pattern. So this is just the beginning. Have fun with this. I can't wait to see what you do and I'll see you next time.